two lawmakers say they believe they can help fix Idaho's correction system and save the state hundreds of millions of dollars in the process. Mike Sharp is inside the state house with details of how they plan to get that done. A Republican senator and one representative believe education can pay a play a serious role in keeping criminals from ending up in Idaho prisons. And they believe an investment in their plan could save taxpayers nearly $300 million. That entire system has been so overloaded for so many years that, that you do more every year with less until pretty soon you, you can't really be effective in a lot of areas. Representative Rich Wills and Senator Patty Ann Lodge want to invest in Idaho's correction system. And they say that initial investment could bring in major dividends in a very short time. We can save $290 million to the taxpayer with a $33 million investment in five years. They say their plan to keep recidivism down would keep prisons from overfilling and then keep the state from needing to build a new prison. They believe a new prison would be unnecessary if there were more tools to help nonviolent offenders stay out of a cell in the first place and stay in society instead. They're going to fall. They're going to falter once in a while. But when they falter, we don't want them to go back through the system to spend X amount of years when just two or three months might be the wake-up call that they need. By allowing a path to a quick release for prisoners with a desire to change, Lodge says the state could use the savings on other programs that might need that money even more. We cannot continue down the path we're going now because when we're spending that on corrections and we're spending it on welfare, we don't have the money to spend on the education system, which is one of the most important elements. Lodge, a former educator, and Wills, a police officer of 31 years, say the study shows the state needs to move now. That a $33 million investment could mean a lot for taxpayers, but it'd mean even more for the people who get a second chance in society. This is affecting everybody, and, and the people are out there are wanting some changes to be done. The two will be presenting their suggested changes tomorrow in a special meeting at the State House. We'll keep you updated on how it is received. The lawmakers tell me they believe they have the support to get the investment funded and launched in this session. Live in studio, I'm Mike Sharp. Today's six on your side.